Hello and welcome back to Wellness Wednesday where in today's video update I'd like to introduce a, a good friend of Advantage and somebody many of you in the industry may already know uh, and that is Matthew Holman who is the owner of a, uh, a business called uh, Simpilla Healthy Solutions. Uh, so Matt is a mental health consultant um, and uh, their business's mission is really to normalise the conversation around mental health, specifically in the workplace. So uh, today, Matt is going to be giving us some general thought-provoking information and ideas around mental health um, in the workplace uh, that also apply in general daily life. So there isn't really much more of an introduction I need to give um, because Matt covers it all. So over to you, Matt. Hi, I'm Matt Holman of Simpler Healthy Solutions, and thank you for allowing me the opportunity to deliver this daily update to the Advantage Travel Partnership. I'm passionate about mental health, and right now we need to learn to talk about this more than we ever have in the past. It's such an important subject whilst we're going through these current challenges and the current crisis. For anyone that's left alone, for anybody that's been furloughed, for anybody that's unfortunately lost their jobs through the current crisis, please know that there's always somebody there to talk to. If you're the manager or an employer or an employee of a company and you know somebody that might be struggling right now, please do take the moment to reach out to them, just to check in with them, and just to see how they are. Sometimes a small conversation can be a big or make a big difference in the lives of many. So this is what I'm trying to encourage. I'm trying to encourage the travel industry, all industry, the world, everybody to learn to be open to talk about mental health and to make sure that we all understand that the current crisis is creating more challenges than we've ever experienced. And not just on the physical elements of the coronavirus, but also the mental health challenges too. So it is important that we continue to talk, we continue to be open and we continue to care about each other. One big thing that will come out of this whole event is that we will learn to be closer together, to talk to each other better and to show kindness and caring and compassion to all. I implore everybody to practice empathy, please do. Please care about your employees, please care about those people around you, your loved ones, your family and your friends. And if you have been furloughed or you are furloughing people through this process today, please make sure you stay in touch. Please make sure that you engage or continue to engage in conversations that can help people to see light through dark days. Because prior to the coronavirus, we had serious issues with mental health problems. One in four adults every year experiencing mental health challenges. One in six working age adults experiencing challenges in the workplace due to things like depression, anxiety and stress related illnesses. We need to make sure that we're providing the same support or better support than we were providing previously. As we go through these months and these days and these weeks, we want to ensure that we at least maintain our mental well-being. If not, we want to even improve our mental well-being by doing good things. And good things come in different ways for us all individually. We're all going through a very different, unique experience of this current challenge. Some people will thrive, some people will struggle. And what we have to remind ourselves is even if it is only a small percentage of people that are struggling, we still have to support them. We have to remind ourselves that the small percentage of people that will be struggling, and I think there will be quite a few people in that um, community, need our help right now. So please, if you are able to, pick up the phone, speak to your colleagues, your friends, your family, have a conversation that's honest about how we're really feeling. Because when we start to ask those conversations or have those conversations about feelings, when we start to really want to understand what's happening, we can learn a lot more about each other. So it's really important right now that we do that. As the travel industry has been put on pause, we don't have to put everybody on pause or under sheets or not able to stay connected to the businesses. The businesses have a responsibility right now to improve the awareness, to engage in those bigger conversations and to plan for the next phase, for the next part of the future recovery. Because we don't know how long the recovery is gonna take. From a mental health perspective, we know that the impact of the coronavirus is gonna have a long, long lasting effect on people's mental well-being. Consider those travellers who will be asked to go back travelling again. Think about the mental impact to those individuals that, as part of their job, they have to be on the road. Think about what that means to them mentally. Managing anxiety is going to become a critical element of travel in the future. And ensuring that security, safety and mental and physical health are really paramount in supporting the individual traveller. And actually, we're all human. 
And we have to remind ourselves that this human element to our workplace is so critical right now. Because humans are suffering, humans are struggling, and there are lots of people now who are sat in isolation at home in their own environment that feel disconnected. So again, as I said, please reach out. Please talk to people. If you are struggling and you don't have anybody to talk to, you can always contact the Samaritans. It's a free call, it's a free number, and it's 116123. If you need a safe space to talk with non-judgmental listening, Samaritans is a good space. If your organisation today has mental health first aiders in place, they are also a good opportunity for you to reach out and to get some support. But please, please, please do remember, we all need to talk about mental health. It's so important right now. Together we will get through this. Together we will help support more people. And as we come through the other side, we will have a new awareness and understanding of what it really feels like mentally for those who are struggling. So thank you so much for allowing me the chance just to say these few words today. Um, I do genuinely appreciate that. I want you all to stay safe, please stay healthy, please take care of each other, and please look after yourselves. Thank you. Thank you.